right, guys, we are getting close to Nebraska, or we are in Nebraska, we're getting close to where we're gonna hunt up here with Realtree, and I'm fired up, man. I got the, the CVA Cascade in my hand, hand and it's brand new. Um, it's in timber. It is beautiful gun. And anyway, I got a, a Viper Vortex on it, and I literally sighted it in in 15 minutes yesterday. That's no joke, shot it 25 yards was a little bit high, dialed it in, hit three in the same hole, went back all the way to 200, and it's just shooting great, so we should be good. Um, you know, we're hunting 10,000 acres up here on the river bottom, and I pumped with a gun in hand, and you know, with my daughter coming up, we are just, it's kind of like deer camp of old. You know, where you get that gun and you're all going out and you know, anything goes. You know, you might shoot it from a blind, you might shoot it from the ground. It may be locked down and, and we spot it from the truck and go go get on him, but um, that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, we're gonna have some pretty good weather. And um, I bet you, I just bet you, we're gonna, we're gonna start our little run right here. Anyway, we're kicking it off right here. Friday night before gun season in Nebraska. Look out tomorrow. All right, guys, we're gonna ease in and go kill something. Luckily, it'll be a blessing. We're gonna get started anyway. Jaylee's over here in a really good spot. Yeah. Actually, Les had to run elk off, so uh, it's pretty cool when you're whitetail hunting, you gotta run elk off. <laughs> so, how far are we going, Les? About 300 yards, three, 400 yards okay. when we walk in. I got you. All right, let's do it to it. Okay, so, sounds good. CVA Cascade in hand, shooting a 7 millimeter on this trip with the Sierra bullets. Well, it's November 14th and we are in Nebraska with Realtree. I'm super excited. We have some, um, like, three good shooters here. We are sitting on a big old hill where we can see a long ways. Uh, and just so you know, I'm not feeling good. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty under the weather. But Lord has helped me fight through it, and I'm excited. There's a we're, we're kind of in a transition where the bucks are coming off the alpaca, probably be taking these does up in the hills, trying to lock down with them if they ain't already locked down. So we uh, we got up here yesterday. It was about a nine-hour drive for us. They had a goal were in Kansas, so they only had about a seven-hour drive. But um, we got in safely, which was good. Got everything set up and. We're just gonna wait and hopefully get a shot of the buck this morning. I have high hopes that we can get on a good buck. I mean, good mature buck's what we're looking for. Kaylee is setting about a mile from here, mile and a half on an alfalfa field. So uh, I'm confident she's gonna see some deer and hopefully get on a good one. But anyway, just thankful to be out here in God's country, facing the sun this morning, going to see a beautiful sunrise already. So we're blessed for sure. Oh, hey, this 
my... Will you zoom in on him because he might be a shooter? It is our first day here in Nebraska with Realtree and we have a buck down. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. Mr. Les sent us in here after a few deer and I think this is one of the 10 points that he had sent us in here after. Um, he's got really good eye guards and just like he's thick and then he's got these two, you know, kickers coming off of his eye guards. So I'm really happy. I'm super excited. I can't. I still can't believe we did it on the first day. It was almost, when he came in, I was just like, can we do that? Can we kill on the first day? Like in the first sit? But we did, so <laughs> anyway, dad it still has to get one, but we've got one down and I am so happy. It was quite a long drive up here, so I'm glad we got rewarded pretty well. <laughs> All right, girl. Thank you. Well, they are some big bodied suckers up here. It's just crazy how different terrain in different areas we were able to hunt in a lot of different places. And you know, I, I've never hunted a place quite like this. It's, uh, and I've just seen a portion of it, but it's just beautiful. So, all right, Jay, let's get some pictures taken and we'll have to go get him caped out and all that. Mm -hmm. So, congratulations, girl. I love you. Thank you. Literally 35 mile hour straight winds right now with 40 mile hour gusts. I'm fixing to pack it up, go tend to my wounds, and hopefully tomorrow bring something better. We'll go celebrate with Jaylee. She shot one, and we'll get after it again tomorrow. back into that, what we call the horseshoe, and uh, see if we can't get on something good. Uh, Lord willing, it happens tonight. Lord, uh, me and Cole, Cole's actually getting sick now too, so I don't know if we got COVID, I don't know. But whatever it is, I figure our bodies will fight it off eventually. So looking for a brute tonight. I mean, I'm just feeling froggy that we're gonna get on something good. Kind of tucked into the side of a hill under a cedar tree right here. Um, pretty cool little spot. And I'm just hoping something right there comes right here and we get a chance at him right here with the, uh, the cascade. I kind of messed up my box, but my Sierra bullet's right here. <laughs> Oh, 
dude, it's a good buck. Big deer. Locked down. I wonder if we can go to him. If these other deer weren't down here, I'd go down here. I just don't think I can get to him there. He'll be here tomorrow. But at the same time, yeah, I'd like to go kill him. But if we go up through there, we're gonna spook them deer. We're just gonna have to hope that tomorrow morning we either kill him right here or we lay eyes on him. And then we can use tomorrow to go get him. Um, that bank over there has been really, really hot. Um, but there's no way to hunt it in the morning with the wind, so we'll start out right here in the morning and then see what we see. Hopefully we kill here because he, he ain't very far. All he's got to come is three, 400 yards. Um, we'll see, I mean, the night's not over. Big him can step out right here. Well, good morning, everyone. It's November 16th, and Cole and I are both sick as dogs. And uh, we're sitting out here on the hill looking for this big eight. Uh, we left him last night about 600 yards from right here. Just hoping we'd see him again this morning and either have him at a distance or go to him. Uh, we've seen one little buck this morning down here in the valley. But other than that, that's all we've saw so far. It's in the 20s this morning. It's nice and cool, should be a good day. But all I know is we just gotta keep grinding. Cop drops, NyQuil. I know one thing that make us feel better is a big old buck, so. <laughs> a big old buck. Lord willing, we get it done. Whatever's in his plans, what'll happen, so. Here we go, November 16th. used the old seven mag cascade and we dropped one at 252 yards um sierra bullets thank you lord i just got to give god all the praise and glory just me and Cole are both sick as dogs i was just praying this morning that we just could get through this and I think we just got a big buck, then we go. 100% he's dropped. <gasps> Pull 
Yes! Finally! Finally, finally, finally! Well guys, unbelievable. Sick as a dog, me and Cole both up here in Nebraska and we just grinded it out uh, up here with Realtree. I want you to look at those fours right there on that deer. Um, great main beams, big time, I mean good twos, threes, and unbelievable fours. It's November 16th, um, and I don't think I've ever shot a deer on November 16th, so we changed that this morning. But, you know, I've been doing this a long, long time, and I've shot many bucks, but I don't think I've ever been on a, on a rough sketch like I've been on this, this trip this year. Um, and Cole has been right there with me and laid down all the good footage. Uh, you know, and as a hunter, when you're doing that, you, um, you know, you just get to doubt and you get to, you know, you lose confidence. And, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, but the good Lord is my confidence. And that's where all my, you know, without him, I, I can do nothing as John 15, five says. And this morning, I just want to give all the praise and the glory to him keeping us out here and even though we're sick um, we just shot a really good buck in Nebraska. I want to thank Realtree just uh, the friendships that we have and and uh, just really appreciate them. What a great buck here in the state of Nebraska. Les Hall um, you know this is his ground uh, unbelievable ground here right on the river. The, thankful my daughter shot one uh, day before yesterday and now we've shot one so we're going to get him taken care of, get some pictures, and uh, we're going to head back to Oklahoma. Well, hey guys, welcome to this week's Walk by Faith. Today, I'm going to open up the, the Bible and open it up, first verse in the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And man, that seems so simple, but there's so much here. First of all, I truly believe if uh, you, you believe in the God of the Bible, you have to believe in creation because the Bible says it right there. You know, we were in Nebraska and, and we've been in a lot of places, but we're in Nebraska out there and it was just beautiful. It was different. It was just the coolness of the air and the animals that were there. That creation and knowing that our God created all that and you can just feel God's love out there. Um, you know, if your heart is right with God, He can speak to you through a, a leaf blowing through the air, uh, no matter what it is. And, and that's what, again, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He is our creator. He created everything. Nothing happens without God. And you know, that's really how our lives should be. Nothing should happen without Him. Whether you're buying a new car or you're doing this, if we were to lay everything at His feet and help, let him help us make those decisions. So many times I truly believe we wouldn't be caught up in a mess that we get ourselves into. So I encourage you, turn everything over to God, your creator, my creator, um, and it'll even help us on this side of heaven. Guys, I'm Jeff Danker, and remember, as we always say, shoot by sight and walk by faith.